Hey everybody, Chris Negley with Elegant Estates. Today we're going to be doing a paver restoration, wall cleaning, uh, soft wash style, and efflorescence removal. So let me flip the camera around here and I'll show you what we got. Alright, so a few years back here, probably five, six years ago, we installed this project. We had a couple of terraces. Uh, we built those out of Cambridge Old English. Uh, we have some efflorescence over here that we'll have to address. And we'll be soft washing all the organic off of this wall. So there's a couple of terraces and what it happens is we will be going up doing all the stone work today. Going up onto this patio. So you see there's some organics that are starting to grow and actually darken the pavers. Got patches over in here where it's typically dark. We'll be hitting the side of this fire pit. All these stoops right here that we built out, those will be cleaned up. Again, you can see some of the organics underneath those caps, even some along some of these dark pavers. And that's typically what I tell people is uh, when we do restoration work and uh, wash things up, it will lighten things up because the the organic growth is going to be dark itself. So uh, when your pavers look aged, it's uh, basically because they darken due to the organic growth. So right here, these are a permeable style pavers, so it allows the water to go through. So there's been enough debris that I've collected in these joints that now moss is starting to grow there because the debris actually holds the moisture. So the, the moss comes out really easily. Got these clumps here. I mean that all comes out really easy. So we'll kill that off first and then we'll uh, rinse it out of there. If we have to get the surface cleaners out we will. Um, but we'll soft wash it first. Now we did put these pillars in here and the fence. We got it on this side, and then we also have it over there running out and around, as well as a fence around the condenser. So we'll be doing a soft wash on that just to clean that up prior to coming back, because we will be staining that this year to get it prepped for winter. Uh, the veneer columns, we'll just go ahead and downstream clean that along with the fences. And again, we got the paper driveway out here that we installed this is actually heated so we'll be doing the soft wash on this as well got our sensors in here uh, front stoop we'll do that up and all the curbing and again you can see on this small garden wall over here there's a lot of efflorescence I'll do a separate video on that and what that is and how we control it or how we treat it at least there's no way to control it And I'll take you around the uh, other side and show you what we got going on for the fence. All right, so on this side, all we have is the small wall that we built for the condenser. And then that fence right there. So, you know, it's got some splatter on the bottom from uh, rains and stuff. So we'll get that all cleaned up. We'll take care of any of this organic growth that's already starting to to grow here just because of the shade and the moisture. So we'll hit that all up, get it prepped for stain, and uh, we'll be good.
All right, we just wrapped up. Did a pre-treat and a surface clean on this permeable patio, actually permeable driveway, and patio all back. So as you can see, rain has turned it to its natural state over in that area. It was pretty dark from a lot of the organic material from all these trees dropping stuff on there. Uh, there's a lot of clippings, walnuts, you know, old leaf debris. Uh, yeah, the grass clippings were a big one. And uh, that was starting to go down into these cracks. So it took a little while to rinse those out after we uh, hit it with a surface cleaner. But um, should dry up nicely uh, when we come back to do the fence back there prior to stain. Uh, we may do a post treat on this too. We'll see how it dries up. Um, maybe a few areas right here that there's a little bit more organic material that we didn't get with the surface cleaner. So we may post treat that when we come back. But the main objective here was to do a nice deep clean on these joints. This was really heavily laden with moss coming down through here. As you can see, that's all completely gone now. And then again, the uh, back patio cleaned up real nice. Again, this area right here had a lot of moss in there right behind the built-in grill. And then these little inlays right here had a lot of organic growth on them, a lot of mold. So that all was killed off. So that cleaned up really nice. And then all along there, there's quite a bit of moss as well, so that's all gone. So that was our main objective, was to do a deep clean on the joints. Uh, the paver surface, what we'll do is make a recommendation after we come in and do some mulching for her next year. Uh, we will go ahead and uh, ask her if she wants us to top off these joints. Um, they're not terrible, but they could use it. Uh, that'll help to protect from some of the debris buildup, especially more grass clippings from next year's cuttings. So cleaned up real nice. Uh, I'll probably do a follow-up video after it dries. So yeah, it's real important on these permeable patios since the main function of them, not only aesthetically, but uh, performance-wise is to drain the surface of the water. So it's real important to keep those nice and clean, the debris out of them. And uh, so now with the surface cleaned off of there and the joints all nice and neat, and debris free should be back up to 100% function wise. So there we go. Another one down.